Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Why? I, I keep wanting to, like, say it in cheer form. <laughs> I don't know why. Last time we beat a boss, then we beat an old boss, and then we explored the Forbidden Library. Now, Cow, uh, I used to go everywhere in this game, like, long jumping and everywhere. Well, come you don't do that? Uh-huh. Alright, I'm going in the kitchen, look at all these giant utensils. They're way too big. Is there anything hidden here? Uh, there's a one-up. Alright, cool. Yeah, I, it's true. I do not long jump everywhere. I don't know why, so this is probably just me. But I just constantly feel like I'm on the edge of falling off a ledge, just like that. Well, that's magical. But yeah, just like that. Thank you for the demonstration. And I don't know, and like, if you, uh, like, long jump, you, you do not have, you know, you, you, you sacrifice some precision-ness. It makes me feel weird. All right, we got the oven cooking. We got a tiny tree on the counter. Pine's gonna fall all over the food. Uh, it's in the region. I can only hope they're not misusing the pound up. Oh, you know they are. You just know they are, buddy. All right, here we go. Going up here. We got the crackle of a fire. All right, well, no. Let's start with opening a real place and see how that goes. Look at that. It's beach bowl. It's a bowl of beach. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a big, like, water bowl type thing. So, water level, world three, water world. I could see it. We are starting to be sunken treasure. We are going to maybe start to include swimming mechanic. Yeah, it's just water floating here in bowl shape. That is fun. Penguins, uh, see, sunken treasure. Is the, that the treasure, the launch pad? Uh, okay, so this, this song that I recognize, apparently it's from this game. I've been hearing it in Smebex, so that's funny. Penguin! It's pretty much Penguin Paradise. No, yeah, I've encountered penguins before. So you guys have been exploring uh, the universe. Good for you. To know about swimming. No G. Just us penguin. With G. But you didn't offer me how... You're not offering me how to swim now. Uh, or you're not. Alright, I guess I'm talking to everyone. Yeah, I am, actually. I see these boxes. Whoa! Are you there? Yeah, you loves that. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I can see them. All right. So, chunks. You love chunks. All right, Papa Penguin. Students are distracted by the sparklies. All right. Ah, sparklies. So, I cannot learn how to swim. I just gotta go. So, okay. Okay, so it's just jump and you go and you twirl and you go forward. You got an air meter, fair enough. Ooh, got dynamic music. Hey, bye. Air, yeah, okay. Okay, so they are extremely of the school of teach while you're there. I respect that, you know, just get in there, do it, and that's how you're gonna learn, buddy. I respect that. Swim through air, yeah, yeah, birds are animals that need air, you know, even penguins need air. So, that, so basically, you just keep spinning, and you keep spinning. Nothing changes there. Hey, friendo. Yeah, I love And also, you can break a block doing that. Well, what was that metal sound? Someone was ushering in a sword. Okay, that clam. Yeah, clams went clackety-clack. Oh, we've got eyeballs. Uh, that is a very advanced clam. Don't look at my weird shadow. It's weird. Okay, well, here we go. It looks like getting a thing also recharges my air. There's a lot of air in star bits. Star... star shapes? Star pieces. I don't know. What, what are the... Launcher... Launcher Monsters? Uh, yeah, that's the name. Obviously. I talked to you before, right? Uh... I went around you. Oh, yeah, they are pretty. And I just stole it. Nothing you can do about that, friendo. Uh, oh, okay, well, here there's a... Uh, no, I don't know if I want to swim faster because I'm kind of looking around. You know, like, I don't want any surprises. I don't want to miss anything that would be important to my mission of gathering these sparklies so you guys resume your lessons. Oh, there's a Neil. Where's the camera twist? 
There's a thing on the floor. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a bubble bobble. All right, got it. If you want to throw a bubble, there's a there's a earthquake. It's a black hole. Those are different problems when flying in space. Oh, look at that. It's the star of the lungs is kind of holding everything together. All right, I don't know where that la Maybe it's just in this box. Maybe it's just in this box that I swam right next to. I was like, oh, uh, no. Swims. All right. Um, okay. I need one more shiny. We got beach swims right here. That's pretty shiny, but it's not the right kind of shiny. That is true. Um, man, yeah, I do not know. Something about their shine is very aggressive. I will say that. Hey, buddy. How you doing? You kick those legs. Yes, yeah, so... Is it going to be underwater? Wait a second, I'm seeing something yellow there. That's just a loom, right? I think it is. Just, uh, just one of those. Uh-oh. Uh um... My air's starting to run low because I keep grabbing all of the bubbles. Yeah, no, I'm not sure where the last one is, if it is even underwater. Let's see here. Yeah, so it's that urchin that does sword sounds. Great. Like, I don't want to swim off the edge of the world if I can help it. Yeah, I, I don't see it. I do not see it. Okay, it, they could have hidden one above water. That would be mean. Except it wouldn't be mean. Like, no, that's just like you got this big space here. Alright, let's... Okay, maybe you guys? Like one of your caves? I don't know. I don't get that vibe. Alright. Let's surface. Look at that. Whoosh. There you go. See, that's how you surface. Well, at least you make the camera surface. All right, you can kind of jump above on your own. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna talk to you manually. Use to make it sway. Uh, sway it up. All right, here's a chest. Treasure chest. I cannot defeat it. Uh, huh. All right, maybe it's gonna be something else. Whoa, no, 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 no. I feel like I learned something about the interaction of something. Oh, wait a second. You just popped up. Is that because I'm getting close? Oh, you're you're running? Yeah, I know, right? I'm looking for the fifth one. Maybe it's in the pipe. There's a pipe right, right here. It's right here in the rocks. Piping time. Here we go. Whoa. This is playing in slow motion. You can tell because the sound is very crunchy. So, all right. Sorry about that. It is not on purpose. We're just gonna have to make it through here. Hopefully, this is not too long. Yeah. The, oh, sorry. Oh wow. Well, I gotta have to redo that jump. There's something about the filter here, which is just destroying Dolphin. Now, this, to be fair, Dolphin is like rated four out of five for this game. So you know, something like that is to be expected. Jeez, really. Uh, uh, come on, get up there, no? Alright, gonna try again. Yeah, as far as I can tell, this would be whatever filter they have on that's making the waviness. Well, it's underwater, it's doing fine. Oh man, all I get are all of these candies. I mean, it's good to have. They are useful. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Here we go, we're out. Hey, we're free. Okay, no one is hurt. Actually, I can't find that last one. See, this looks like, kind of like a toilet. Now when I look at it, like a toilet seat. Beautiful, I'm aware. Any secret behind a waterfall? Doesn't look like it. No, yeah, I, I don't... I'm missing one. I'm missing a shiny. Maybe if I go up here and start flying around out of control. I don't see how that would be helpful for anyone. There's a box over there. Maybe I should bust it and spin around the flowers while you're at it. Uh, it's a big, big wild. All right. 
All right. Um, this is probably where the thing is gonna appear when it appears. Man, um, I'm sure that it's not that hard. Why am I so diagonal? So diagonal. Like, it can't be that hard to find. Like, it's probably very, very easy to get. It's just, I'm not... Why are you not... There we go. There's a coconut. Fantastic. I hit that coconut. Alright, so I'm swinging here. And I'm not seeing any shinies. Got a one up, but that's not shiny at all. It's green. I, you could be green and shiny, to be fair. What am I missing, though? Did Mario's eyes start to turn evil when I zoomed in? Did I just imagine that? I will say, the, the swimming controls feel really nice. I just, I, just, I just wish I had something to do with it. What can I be missing? It can't, like, I... I got gonna spook the fishies. Did it, I spooked them. Like, all the other ones are very easy to spot. Like, that's what I don't understand. It's just there! See, I knew it! I knew it was just gonna be somewhere, and it's just somewhere I hadn't looked. Oh my gosh. That is a long time that took. Alright, don't swim out of the thing. Oh, look at that. He's like holding his breath. Like, he's got these big puffy cheeks. That's fun. Man! Alright, well, I managed to find it. I did it. <laughs> Something was done. Oh, that took way longer than it should have. Alright, 3D spaces, man. My specialty. All that to blast me out of the water and into here. Oh, boy. Get out of here, plant. Thing for the hell, there's a body! Hey, bunny. What do you have to tell to me, rabbit? No, speak. Don't jump. If you want to grab something the high, spin after you jump, and then you say, boy oing, like that. Alright, and then the train wiggler's here. Alright, and this. Whoa, okay. We're like pause created by the fact that, you know, I kinda uh, fell off the ground. It's kinda funny. Yeah, it's singing a song. And all that for a one up! That's like way up there. That's kind of uncomfortable to get. Oh, you didn't pounce. Pounce, please. There you go. Hey, a bridge was made. Okay, now we got a time limit. All right. Time limit for the bridge was made. Here we go. No, no. Yeah, hurry up. I can hear the quickly clock. It is stressful. One up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's some harsh flashing. All right, so maybe I just want to get up there. I don't know. I'm gonna talk to that guy. Hey, buddy. As well, John, to do things. Got it! I love doing things. Okay, so, okay, yeah, you just kind of create a little, like, wall jump zone down. Got it. This claw is hyperactive. Get out of here, Crystal! Ah! Uh, I shattered you! I will eat your blood! Because I'll, it's probably crystalline? I don't think Crystal has blood. I did it! Man, <laughs> Oh, that was a long session, of which I will have to edit, like, half of it. 3D spaces! They are my Vegemite. You know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it there. Like, you could see stuff floating in the sky that we are clearly going to be returning to, given enough time. New chap already? And a Hungry Luma? Local Hungry Luma, but also a new chapter. You know what? Yeah, let's uh, go back to Storyville. I, I want to read some of that. I want to read some of that forbidden lore. We'll look at the rest another time. That's fine. Yes, he's right there, right next to the entrance, so can't miss him. I can feed him. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got big wire. Oh, you can see it behind the screen with the stuff, and it is upside down. That's fun. Oh, she's back! 
With all the familiars, not all of them, some of them are still working. Let us begin. Yeah, let us. Here we go, chapter three. I'm ready. Chapter three, the comet. That is clearly Captain Toad's ship. Like, maybe that's why Luma made that. Not because it's the ship of their head. Or maybe their head shape inspired them. Anyways. A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get to that comet! Well, now they're just walking on it, huh? Barefoot? Okay. The pair descended on the comet and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Who said look? The Luma, I'm assuming? Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. I think he just beams naturally. <laughs> there's ice here, but it's so warm, I'll bet there's water here too. The two decide to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Look at that, they upgraded their ride. That's pretty cool. This, I mean, this, this introduced the idea of the comet. Like, I was like, well, that didn't further the story. But no, 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 it did. Now I've noticed that the strange picture that's just stars on plain background, same pattern as this carpet. Is it a portrait of this carpet? Is this carpet an important part of the lore, of the family of the small kid, huh? We gotta keep playing to find out. 